Hey everybody, Linus here and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving headfirst into the exciting world of ethical hacking with a look at the top 10 brand new tools that are shaking things up in Kali Linux for 2024. We're talking cutting edge tech here, people. The kind of stuff that can make or break a penetration test and expose vulnerabilities you didn't even know existed. From uncovering hidden subdomains to sniffing out those juicy API keys, these tools are an ethical hacker's dream come true. So buckle up, smash that like button, and subscribe because you do not want to miss this deep dive into the future of ethical hacking. First up, we've got AMAS. And let me tell you, this tool is a beast when it comes to reconnaissance. AMAS is all about uncovering those hidden subdomains that attackers try to keep under wraps. We're talking about those sneaky little subdomains that could be hosting anything from vulnerable services to stolen data. Now, what makes AMAS so special is its ability to tap into a vast network of data sources. Think of it like a digital detective that scours the internet, public records, and even historical data to piece together a complete picture of your target's attack surface. And the best part? AMAS got some serious upgrades for 2024, making it even faster and more efficient at uncovering those hidden gems. But here's where things get really interesting. You can combine AMAS with other powerful tools like MassScan to perform lightning-fast scans of those newly discovered subdomains. Imagine this. AMAS hands you a list of potential targets, and MassCon swoops in to identify open ports and services in the blink of an eye. It's like having a dynamic duo of ethical hacking tools working in perfect harmony. Now I know what you're thinking. Linus, this sounds incredibly powerful, but is it legal? And the answer, my friends, is a resounding yes as long as you're using these tools ethically and with proper authorization. Remember, ethical hackers are the good guys, the white hats who use their skills to make the internet a safer place. So whether you're a seasoned bug bounty hunter or just starting your ethical hacking journey, AMAS is a tool you need in your arsenal. Next up, we're switching gears from the vast expanse of the internet to the world of mobile applications with Androbugs. Now, with billions of Android devices out there, it's no surprise that mobile apps have become a prime target for attackers. And that's where Androbug swoops in to save the day, like a digital guardian angel for your Android device. Androbugs is a specialized vulnerability scanner designed specifically for Android apps. Think of it as a fine-tooth comb that meticulously examines every nook and cranny of an app's code, looking for potential security flaws. And trust me, it finds them. We're talking about things like insecure data storage, improper permissions, and even vulnerabilities that could allow attackers to take control of your device. But here's what sets Androbugs apart. It doesn't just point out the problems. It provides detailed reports and recommendations on how to fix them. It's like having a personal security consultant whispering in your ear, telling you exactly what needs to be done to secure your app. This is invaluable for developers who want to build secure and trustworthy apps for their users. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Linus, I'm not a developer. Why should I care about Androbugs? Well, here's the thing. We all use mobile apps every single day. From banking to social media to shopping, our lives are increasingly intertwined with these little pockets of code. By understanding the vulnerabilities that exist in Android apps, we can make more informed decisions about the apps we use and the data we share. So, whether you're a developer, a security enthusiast, or just someone who cares about their privacy, Androbugs is a tool worth checking out. It's a stark reminder that security is not just about protecting computers and servers anymore. It's about protecting the devices we carry in our pockets. Ever wish you could turn back time and see how a website looked in the past? Well, with ArchiveBox, you can practically do just that. This tool is like a time machine for websites, allowing you to track changes, identify past vulnerabilities, and even recover lost content. Here's how it works. Archivebox crawls through a website and creates a local archive of its pages, images, and even videos. Think of it like taking a snapshot of a website at a specific moment in time. Then you can go back and browse these archived versions, comparing them side by side to see what's changed. Now this might not sound groundbreaking at first, but trust me, it's incredibly powerful for both penetration testers and anyone interested in monitoring website changes. For pen testers, ArchiveBox can reveal past vulnerabilities that may have been patched but could still be exploitable. It's like finding a hidden door in a castle wall that no one knew was there. But it's not just about finding security flaws. 
Archive Box is also incredibly useful for continuous monitoring. Let's say you're responsible for a critical website. Archive Box can alert you to any changes, ensuring that no unauthorized modifications slip through the cracks. So, whether you're a security professional, a researcher, or just curious about the history of the Internet, Archive Box is a tool worth exploring. It's a reminder that the Internet has a long memory, and sometimes the most valuable information is hidden in plain sight. Chapter 4, Asset Finder, Speed Demon of Asset Discovery. Now let's talk about speed. When it comes to quickly identifying a target's assets, Asset Finder is your go-to tool. Think of it like a digital bloodhound, sniffing out every IP address, domain name, and subdomain associated with your target. Unlike AMAS, which takes a deeper dive into various data sources, Asset Finder focuses on speed and efficiency. It's the tool you use when you need answers fast, like when you're in the heat of a bug bounty program or responding to a potential security incident. But don't let its speed fool you. Asset Finder is no slouch when it comes to accuracy. It leverages a combination of techniques, including DNS enumeration and certificate transparency logs, to ensure that you're getting the most up-to-date information. And here's where things get really interesting. Asset Finder is designed to play nicely with other tools. You can easily pipe its output into other tools like MassCan or Nmap to perform further reconnaissance or vulnerability scanning. It's like having a well-oiled machine, with each tool seamlessly passing information to the next. So if you're looking for a tool that can quickly and accurately identify your target's assets, look no further than Asset Finder. It's the perfect tool for anyone who values speed and efficiency in their ethical hacking toolkit. Chapter 5. BetterCap – Mastering the Art of Network Attacks. Ethically, of course. All right, folks, it's time to step up our game and dive into the world of network attacks with BetterCap. Now, before you start sweating, remember, we're all about ethical hacking here. BetterCap is a powerful tool that can be used for both good and evil, and it's our responsibility to use it wisely. What sets BetterCap apart is its user-friendly interface. Unlike some of the other tools we've covered, which can be a bit intimidating for beginners, BetterCap makes it easy to launch network attacks with just a few clicks. But don't let its simplicity fool you. This tool is capable of some serious network shenanigans. We're talking about things like ARP spoofing, DNS spoofing, and even traffic injection. With BetterCap, you can intercept and modify network traffic, redirect users to malicious websites, and even inject your own code into unsuspecting victims' browsers. Now, I know what you're thinking, Linus. This sounds downright evil. And you're right. It can be. That's why it's absolutely crucial to use BetterCap responsibly and ethically. Always obtain proper authorization before performing any network attacks and never use these tools to harm or exploit others. But here's the thing. By understanding how these attacks work, we can better defend against them. BetterCap is an invaluable tool for security professionals who need to test their defenses and identify vulnerabilities in their networks. It's like having a sparring partner who can help you improve your skills and prepare for real-world threats. Chapter 6. DN Recon. Unearthing the Secrets of DNS. In the world of ethical hacking, information is king. And when it comes to gathering information about a target, DNS is a goldmine waiting to be tapped. That's where DN Recon comes in, like a digital archaeologist carefully excavating valuable nuggets of information from the vast and often overlooked world of DNS. Now you might be thinking, Linus, DNS? Isn't that just how websites work? And you're right, but it's also much more than that. DNS is like a giant phone book for the internet, mapping domain names to IP addresses. But it also stores a wealth of other information like mail server records, subdomain names, and even historical data. DN Recon is designed to extract this information and present it in a way that's both comprehensive and easy to understand. It's like having a private investigator on your side, digging up dirt on your target, and delivering it to you on a silver platter. We're talking about things like identifying potential subdomains, uncovering hidden email addresses, and even tracing the history of a domain name to see who owned it in the past. This information can be invaluable for penetration testers, security researchers, and anyone who needs to gain a deeper understanding of a target's online presence. So, if you're serious about ethical hacking or cybersecurity research, DN Recon is a tool you need in your arsenal. 
It's a reminder that sometimes the most valuable information is hidden in plain sight, just waiting for someone with the right tools to come along and unearth it. Chapter 7. I am PESC, taming the Wild West of AWS Cloud Security. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to enter the wild world of cloud security with I am PESC. As more and more companies migrate their data and applications to the cloud, securing these environments has become more critical than ever. And when it comes to AWS, the 800-pound gorilla of cloud computing, I am PESC is the tool you need to wrangle those security risks. Now IAM stands for Identity and Access Management, and it's essentially the gatekeeper to your AWS account. It controls who has access to what resources and what they're allowed to do with them. And trust me, misconfigured IAM permissions are a security nightmare waiting to happen. That's where IAM Pesquet rides in like a digital sheriff, ready to clean up the town. This tool is specifically designed to identify vulnerabilities and misconfigurations in your AWS IAM setup. We're talking about things like overly permissive roles, unused credentials, and even backdoor accounts that could allow attackers to slip in unnoticed. But IAM PESC doesn't just point out the problems, it offers practical recommendations on how to fix them. It's like having a security consultant whispering in your ear, guiding you through the often complex world of AWS IAM. So if you're responsible for securing AWS environments, whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, IAM PESC is an essential tool. It's a reminder that cloud security is not just about technology. It's about understanding the shared responsibility model and taking proactive steps to protect your data and applications. All right, developers, this one's for you. Ever accidentally committed sensitive information to your code repository? We've all been there, right? An API key here, a database password there, it happens to the best of us. But fear not because Appleix is here to save the day, like a digital detective, sniffing out those sensitive data leaks before they turn into a major security breach. Appleix is a static analysis tool that scans your code base for hard-coded credentials, API keys, and other sensitive information that shouldn't be there. Think of it like a spell checker for security, highlighting those potentially dangerous lines of code that could come back to haunt you. But Appleix doesn't just point out the problems, it provides context and recommendations on how to fix them. It's like having a security-conscious colleague looking over your shoulder, offering helpful advice on how to write more secure code. And the best part? Appleek supports a wide range of programming languages and can be integrated into your CI-CD pipeline for continuous security testing. This means you can catch those pesky data leaks early on in the development process, before they even make it to production. So, whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting your coding journey, Appleeks is an invaluable tool for writing more secure and responsible code. It's a reminder that security is not just about firewalls and intrusion detection systems. It starts with writing clean, secure code that protects your users and your data. Hold on tight, because we're about to unleash the raw power of Mascon, the speed demon of port scanning. Now, if you've ever used Nmap, you know it's a powerful tool, but it can be a bit slow, especially when scanning large networks. Mascan is like Nmap on steroids, capable of scanning millions of IP addresses per second. We're talking about scanning the entire internet in just a few minutes, folks. This kind of speed is essential for security researchers and professionals who need to quickly identify open ports and potential vulnerabilities across vast networks. But Mascan isn't just about speed. It's also incredibly efficient. It uses asynchronous transmission, meaning it doesn't wait for a response from one port before moving on to the next. This allows it to scan thousands of ports simultaneously, making it much faster than traditional port scanners. Now with great power comes great responsibility, and Mascan is no exception. It's important to use this tool ethically and responsibly, as scanning networks without permission can be illegal and unethical. Always obtain proper authorization before scanning any network, and be aware of the potential impact your scans could have. So, whether you're a security researcher, a penetration tester, or just a curious tech enthusiast, Mascon is a tool worth exploring. It's a reminder that sometimes speed is key, especially when it comes to identifying vulnerabilities and securing our digital world. And last but not least, we have the Harvester, a tool that's all about gathering information from open sources, or OSINT for short. Think of it as a digital private investigator, scouring the internet for anything and everything related to your target. We're talking about email addresses, subdomains, usernames, social media profiles, 
If it's publicly available, the harvester can find it. This kind of information is invaluable for penetration testers, security researchers, and anyone who needs to build a comprehensive profile of a target. But the harvester doesn't just gather information, it organizes it and presents it in a way that's easy to digest. It's like having a research assistant who does all the heavy lifting for you, delivering a neatly organized report with all the relevant information. Now it's important to remember that the harvester is just a tool, and like any tool, it can be used for both good and evil. It's our responsibility to use it ethically and responsibly, respecting people's privacy and not engaging in any illegal activities. So whether you're a seasoned OSINT practitioner or just starting your journey into the world of open source intelligence, the harvester is a valuable tool to have in your arsenal. It's a reminder that sometimes the most valuable information is hidden in plain sight, just waiting for someone with the right tools and the right mindset to come along and uncover it. So there you have it, folks. The top 10 brand new hacking tools in Kali Linux for 2024. These tools represent the cutting edge of ethical hacking, giving us the power to uncover vulnerabilities, test our defenses, and ultimately make the digital world a safer place. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Ethical hacking is about using our skills for good, to protect users, secure systems, and make the internet a force for positive change. It's about being the guardians of the digital realm, not the destroyers. So let's use these tools wisely, ethically, and responsibly. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more cybersecurity content. Stay curious, stay ethical, and stay secure.